Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. A while ago, I did a tutorial on how to make a watercolor painting of a photo from scratch. Now, I'll show you another, quicker method to achieve a similar look from a variety of pre-painted watercolor backgrounds. This document is 750 by 1050 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. I provided a PSD file for you to download so you can follow along. Its link is located in the video's description or project files. Included is this paper texture and five watercolor backgrounds made by Daniel Davids of Sad Monkey Design. Open a photo you'd like to transform into a watercolor. It can be color or black and white. To get it into the watercolor document, press V to open your move tool and drag the photo up onto the tab of the PSD file I provided. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the image and then release. This photo is already sized to the document, but if you want to increase or decrease the size of your photo, press Ctrl T on a PC or Command T on a Mac. To see the entire transform on your screen, press Ctrl or Command Zero. Go to a corner and when you see a straight double arrow, press and hold Shift and Alt or Shift and Option as you drag it in or out. Once you have it sized, press Enter or Return. Collapse the folder and click off the eyeball to hide it. Drag your photo below the folder. We'll name it Original. Make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J. We'll name the copy Adjusted. Go to Image, Adjustments and Threshold. Slide the threshold level until there's just the right amount of detail, then click OK. Go to Filter, Stylize and Diffuse. Choose Anisotropic. This slightly diffuses or blurs the high contrast image just enough to get the results we want. Make the folder visible and open it and for now click on the thumbnail of texture 1 to make it active. Change the blend mode to screen. Make texture 2 visible and active. Change its blend mode to overlay. Notice the two watercolor backgrounds beautifully interact with each other by using different blend modes. Let's add the paper texture to the image. Close the folder and make the paper visible and active. Change its blend mode to darker color. Now our image truly looks like it was painted with watercolors on thick watercolor paper. Let's hide textures 1 and 2 and drag texture 3 above texture 4. Make 4 visible and active and make the blend mode screen. Make texture 3 visible and active and toggle through the blend modes and see how they interact with the other texture. Using these simple techniques have fun experimenting with different combinations of backgrounds, blend modes, and opacities to achieve a myriad of stunningly nuanced watercolor effects. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.